do. Mead! That's pretty exciting. Yeah. As you can tell, it's Friday here. I, Woo! I very thinly disguised beverage. We've Woo! all got something going on here. Uh, welcome to the Rift live stream. As you can tell, I'm not Ocho. Well, that's just too bad, isn't it? Um, Ocho went and had a baby Ocho last Monday, and so they brought small. it into the office. It's tiny, and it smells nice, and it looks nothing like Ocho, so we're all very grateful for that. <laughs> uh, but he's going to be out for a couple more weeks, so you guys are stuck with me, and so are these dudes. Believe me, it's not easy. Uh, welcome, welcome. It's nice to see you guys all again. Uh, I'm Linda Carlson, known as Brass the Dwarf. I'm the director of community here. Introduce uh, yourself. Oh, uh, Rich Bion. I am a content designer here at Rift. I am Nicholas Captain Cursor McDowell, and I need to put on my Captain Cursor oh. hat. And now he's official. I, I brought a Captain Awesome hat with a beard. <laughs> so she can finally get her dwarf beard. Oh there it is. <laughs> there it is. Well done, sir. Well done. I, I combed my hair and everything, and you're expecting me to wear this? Yes. Just I will put it on halfway through. <laughs> that that that's pretty cool. Okay, nice. and I'm Marco Epsuri Serikov, and I am the leading moral support person for the live stream. Yeah. Just for moral support. Moral support. No actual work. I don't make in content. I don't make raids. I'm just here to cheer on my fellow uh, developers. Plus, anything that goes wrong, it's his fault. We yeah. feel <laughs> cheered. Okay, Woo. good. Today, okay. we're here to talk about Comet of Anket. I uh, wanted to show you a cool little trailer video, but Brand wants to hold it off until next week, so keep an eye out for that. It's kind of cool. Pretty Better cool. yet, Rich is going to take you right into game and show you stuff in a minute. Ooh, but nice uh, first of all, Comet of An Anket. Ten man raid? Ten man raid. Ten man raid. Uh, any prerequisites required for it? Hit. Be at level cap and have a certain amount of hit. Certain amount of hit. Yes. What is the certain amount of hit? It's a How much question. hit? You don't even know, do you? I don't you? even know. He doesn't this even hit? know. 1,400? 1,400? You must put this hit to ride. This okay. hit to ride. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's an actual sign in the front of the, the instance. Okay. Yeah. Any specific recommended gear or pots that you think people should take along on this raid? Anything that will give them a, a bit of a hand up? Any special resistances they need? Your really? good builds, not your lame builds. And it really depends on what difficulty they want to go into the raid on. Okay. Uh, we have easy mode, or introductory mode, normal mode, and hard mode. Um, your mileage may vary for mode to mode. Well, there you go. I plan to go in there with my gimp gear and my crappy hit and see what happens. My beard will protect me. I'd, I'd like to talk a little bit about the, the backstory, but as, as we do that, uh, Mr. Evans, sir, can you please put up the screenshots that we have of the game, Ooh, which I Oops. stole out of some brand folder somewhere. They'll be yelling at me shortly. Okay, so we're gonna oh, play huh? who this yeah. guy? Who that guy? That's actually just a trash mob. <laughs> <laughs> That's a trash mob. We don't call them trash mobs. mobs. That is one of oh, the uh, oh, Alavia. Oh, 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 wait, wait, what Sorry. is it? It's not a trash mob. It's a. I don't know, man. It's not a trash mob. It is a challenge mob. Challenge mob. Challenge it is a roadblock <laughs> yes. for success. Okay. Uh, that's one of the uh, Laviaxes, uh part of their army. Oh, one okay. of the bigger parts. Well, let's talk about the Aviax then. What exactly are they? I mean, it sounds like a laxative of some type. It, 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 it kind of, it's like it a will, celestial laxative. It will, it will burn through. It, yeah. it is all It'll the stuff burn. that has burned, been burned out of the heavenly realms. Um, all we've known about the Aviax so far is uh, Glacia from uh, the Guile Fortress from Nightmare Tide. Uh, and she was cast out of uh, the Aviax, and we have not actually encountered much of them due to the fact that the Plane of Fire had been under the clawed, burning thumb of Mailforge up until recently. So now that he is gone, someone else has uh, come into power, and now we're starting to see them. Well, one of the things I just want to mention as well is that Captain Cursor runs, writes some of the coolest lore ever, and I've had the chance to actually work with him on some of it. He's actually let me touch the, the magic words. <laughs> it's, it's been so much fun, and I'd love to bring some more of that for you all as well. Uh, now, Anket itself is a tower, but it's also a sentient entity. It is. And it's kind of mysterious. A little mysterious. A little bit mysterious. Unfortunately for, like, you know, explaining cool stuff, the mystery is part of the deal with your first encounter of her. Meaning he really doesn't know yet. No, no, much. actually, I know all of it, but I have to hold on to it for future stuff oh, so wow. I have stuff to reveal. Future stuff, you mean, like, 
4.0 type future yeah, we stuff. We just have other updates coming. Oh, out. okay, cool. That's other really updates. terrific. Um, okay, next screenshot, please. Who's that? That would be as a Frentis. Oh, that's as a Frentis. Yes. Okay, yes, yes. He looks rather nasty. He is the lieutenant of okay. Duke Eblius. Right. Who's at this point dead before you get a chance to uh, see him? But he he has been he has been in like in charge of subjugating the magma dragons of the Plane of Fire ah, uh, okay. for Duke Eblius, and okay. he that's he has a couple of surprises should you take him down. Hopefully we'll see one or two of those today. Uh, next screenshot. Who that? That's the Duke. Oh, is it? Okay. Yes, he, yes, he is, looks fairly badass. He's rather terrifying. And he has a whole host of very loyal, extremely loyal subjects, willing to do, willing to die for him, if, especially if they can take you out in the process. Uh, which undoubtedly they will do. Next shot. Who that? I think that's some kind of shroom dude. Yeah, he looks kind of Oh, is like that the shroom, shroom dude? <laughs> shroom bro. Is that, is that shroom bro? That, that Heresius? So, yes, Heresius. When, when we, when, shroom bro. When we're developing stuff, oftentimes we have a placeholder name named by certain designers that have things like shroom bro dude. And it'll kind of stick until it's like right before we have to record stuff. And we're like, what's the name of this? I need to write a lore piece. And it's like, it's Shroom Bro, dude. I don't know. That's just me. And then suddenly I'm like, all right, then. We're going to have to write some stuff. So it's Heresius. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Heresius or Heresius, either way would work. We'll find out what people say. Uh, but clearly, you he's mad bro is another good alternative. He's supposed to be terrifying. Um, yeah. He looks fairly terrifying. He does some mean things. You see something like that in your backyard, you're going to be worried about it. Well, okay. Terrifying Next parts screenshot. Like see. Oh, yes. Oh, that this is, is Trash Mob again, right? This you're is gonna, Trash Mob. This is Trash Mob. There were trash, trash Mobs trash behind mob. him, right? Yes. Oh, this is an epic Trash Mob? There's yes. a difference? Oh, uh, based on the size. Oh, <laughs> there you go. The tallest. The tallest will be the best. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Got it. All right. Any more shots? Oh, that's another shot of Flamey Bro Dude. There's the Duke again. The Duke Love is, his wings. Yeah, the that's Duke's my favorite wings part. are pretty And his amazing. sword. That's pretty cool. How soon until I can buy that in game? Um, that uh, soon TM. Does he later drop TM. one of those? Later TM. Later TM. Later TM. Later TM, later TM. Later TM means, yeah, don't hold your breath. The, no, no, no. What, what it means is the awesome sword came in after itemization was done. Ah. And so now we see that there's this awesome sword, and our fine players have been saying, oh my god, I want that sword, give it to me. Yes, so I do. So I am sure that later, TM, yeah. we will have a sword that is that awesome. Okay, so also, question from the chat, do his wings drop? Can uh, we get the wings? I, I think that will also be a later, TM. It'd probably be for 5,000 artifacts or something like that collection. Okay. If you're lucky. <laughs> and this, another trash mob? I mean, your idea of trash mobs is not my idea. Of my idea of trash mobs is like rats. Uh, this no, is no. We've had, see, since we've gone to the plains, we've had to up it. So now it's like you know, kill ten thousand magma dragons. Oh, is that what this guy is? Yes. Okay. This is Faragnos. Oh, this is Faragnos himself. Now, Faragnos summons a whole, I almost used a bad word, a whole ton of other little dragon type things, right? Yes. How many? I, I just, just asking for a friend. Numerous. <laughs> would you say tens or ones? Dozens. Scores. A dozen. A dozen. Scores. Scores. Oh, okay. Very cool. Bakers. Any more shots? A baker's score. Oh, this score. is, this is, a, this is uh, the shroom bro dude again. This is Harisha. If you can notice, he's basically, the, the shrooms are growing out of him. As if he once was an animal, some kind of large bug, and now he is under the sway of the uh, uh, of the fungus. Now, being a fungus, does he have a lot of toxic effects to him as well? Uh, yes. Okay. You Do might you say that's his entire fight is avoid the toxic effects, or licking the toxic effects and licking being able them. to see certain things that otherwise you might not be able to. <laughs> we have a lot of licking hallucinations licking in the, the game. Uh, I do actually. Yeah. Did you not collect frogs? Do not frogs? lick the fungus. <laughs> Did you okay. not collect the, the, the toads from the artifact toads? The the, the frog effects? Well, well yes. Did you I not did lick the toads of Cape Jewel? It's a long and storied tradition in Rift. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and now now we know. Oh yes. Oh oh yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> 
We want to remind everyone that Rift is rated T for teens. Rated T for teens. Mild alcohol use. <laughs> mild. Very mild. <laughs> Mead! I, I, I vote for more alcohol use in future. Okay, and last oh. picture. Oh. No, not the last picture? Oh, is? This is, this is Lord <laughs> Fion. He is Lord Fion. beloved by his servitors. Whatever. Looks like a pansy elf ink to me. I'm pretty oh, sure we can Oh, he has, uh, he is filled with ungodly, I mean ungodly might. Ungodly. Oh, oh, <laughs> right there I'm going to stop you too. because, because I took a note. I, I found this in the notes that came in there now. Okay, so, Lord Fionn, seriously now, this is going to violate the T for teen here. He does his rock and cod piece attack. <laughs> That's not player facing. It is. Oh, oh it is now. Oh, it is now. It's kind of player facing. <laughs> Do tell. It's kind of player in your face. Wait, would you like to demonstrate the sure. rock and cut? So he has an emote where he goes, Arr! and since he's like 1,800 feet tall, it is like right in your face. He's showing them your moves. We're so going to be fired after this stream. Okay, that, that like, was pretty good. That was pretty good. Right, right, they'll, they'll just have to do motion You just need to learn. Don't, don't offer me a chance to, like, you know, do something embarrassing. I will take it. Okay. Luckily, I'm not the boss of him. I don't have to worry about this. And last picture. This is, an, this is not the last picture. Okay. <laughs> There are two more apparently. Okay, so I, I just I just went grab all the pictures, and so Evan did because he's a good man. What's this? What are we looking at? Uh, it's Kaylin Nightstalker. Um, she's the mini boss for the Life Wing. Ah. I don't. Well, Nick could tell you more. She is one of the. Uh, she's one of you the. You will demonstrate more. What did of Lord <laughs> Uh She she is left behind to kill them, and or if they fail to kill Duke Eblis. She's, oh really? She is his uh, magical assassin. Very, Lord very interesting. Fion. Okay, but she's is is that the witch? No, the witch is a different creature. Yes, sure, maybe. You mean uh, Lokirum? Yes. Yes, that is. She is someone different. Ah, okay. This is all starting to make sense now. There's basically Lord Fion. They both came to the party. Uh, they're both captured by Onket and forced to fight each other until the player shows up, and then. Uh, they both brought a, a number of servitors. Eblius has a lot of uh, devils that tend to die in his fight, but Lord Fionn likes his um, people a lot more. Uh, uh, they, they all love him and would do anything for him, except one of the of archers. That. You write this stuff, don't I you? I do. Yeah. It, 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 are you trying to make up for a lack of love in your own life? Um, no, I have lack quite a bit of love. Lack of loyalty amongst your I have compatriots. A lot of love. Or, okay. I'm really trying to make up for the fact that in previous things so many people died. Ah, okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, uh, Geo Cthulhu asks the unaskable. I really shouldn't pass this on because this man's sitting here. Uh, what's, what's the deal with the face on her pelvis? Is the that face just on her That is just a... Oh, wow. Wow. Well, okay. <laughs> no one has noticed this before. Yeah, that is... <laughs> She's been in the game for a bit. That's that's. Uh... There's nothing to see here. That's apparently, right. just move along. <laughs> anyway. Maybe she, maybe maybe her love for Lord Fionn has resulted in something. This is an entire possibility. <laughs> Tune in at 4.0. He's now going to invent something Rated else. Rated T for teen. <laughs> yes. well, I'm not inventing anything. That's in the script. They all love Lord Fionn. Now, I I admit I have not seen the raid yet. Is this Anket herself? Uh, a manifestation of So I'm going to say yes, but everyone's going to be misled by what I said. So yes, this is <laughs> this is a manifestation of Anket herself. Okay. But we're all misled. You're now. all now misled. Brilliant. I I'm never inviting him on a live stream again, like ever. Okay. Uh, I think Anket does one, not equal one more slide. And this is a visual of the environment that we've got there. I, this is, is also it's an absolutely image absolutely gorgeous of Anket herself. Oh, I see, because Anket is, oh, Anket is the tower. And then also, that is the duke in there? Yes, the Eblius, yeah. yes. But it's, it's just, it's, an, it's a gorgeous environment. So one it final is. question, uh, now that we're going to go into game, how long do you expect a reasonably well-geared 10-man raid would take to go through this? Do you have a range? If, if they successfully killed everything in one go? Mm-hmm. Mm. There's, what, five, five six bosses? Six bosses. There, there's six a lot bosses. of math yeah. involved here. Um, uh, if they're great, 
Which all of our player base is, of course. Of course. They um, are. They would probably clear it in under an hour. If under they're fantastic an hour. and they know Challenge what they're doing accepted. and they Start... never mess up. Okay. Ever, because I want to see some times posted to the forums <laughs> now. You know no I mean? one steps in the fire. No one steps in the no. fire. No one forgets to cleanse at the right time. People don't lick mushrooms too aggressively. <laughs> Okay. Can't lick too Number many mushrooms too aggressively. Okay, yes. with that, Rich is going to be in game. What are you going to show us here? Okay, so here is the entrance, uh, as you with saw. With a bunch of 80 foot tall trash mobs. That's yes, right. That's yes. Right. And if you're nice, they'll say hello Rift, to you. Rift, we take our trash mobs seriously. This is our only trash pack in the instance, though. Um, something really? we kind of want to do with Tower of Uncap is you fight bosses. That's what people like doing, so yep. that's what we're giving you. Yep, yep. Except for these guys, because they're tall. Oh, so I see. So you took the awesomeness of normal trash mobs, and you combined them into one giant trash mob. Yes. Okay. That's exactly what we consciously did. That is. That makes sense. It's like the Voltron of trash mobs. He is like the Voltron of trash mobs. I hope it, I don't get sued We're about that. to get sued for yes, saying it. Voltron. So, yeah. That's it, it. It's been great knowing you yeah. guys. Well, the Vigil are also like Voltron. I don't even know what Voltron is. Oh, man. Everyone look he, at this He's a gigantic troll. He doesn't know troll. what Voltron is. <laughs> Mm. He's just trying to protect himself so he's he, he, he knows. He knows. <laughs> he's, 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 he's the smart one of the group. I'm just here so I don't get yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, I know that you have some awesome dev abilities, so are you going to entertain us by killing trash mobs for our entertainment, or are you going to take us into a fight and tell us about what's going on? I right guess on. I can do We're going to be here for hours. We're, we're the we're last gonna, stream of the fight, day, aren't we? Look, we're going to fight legit. We're Every done. single mob in here, right. we're going to fight one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> That's right. And then you're going to go on the forums and brag how you can take this raid with one arm tied behind your back. Exactly. Somebody bring some beer in for Evan. We're going to be here all night. <laughs> so right here we have Duke Eblius and... Why don't you hit control U? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, challenge Bam! mode! That's right. Who needs a HUD? I don't need a HUD. Don't need no HUD. HUDs are for losers. Right. So. I've got everything macroed and I know where my kill button is. And I've pinned my health. Well, maybe, maybe. Hey, wait a minute, we're fighting this guy legit. Uh, what's I, going on here, Rich? So right now, uh, you're fighting Duke Eblius. As uh, Captain Kusu has said, he is leading the he is leader of the Duke of the Army of the Galaviax. And so he is here kind of defending the tower for anyone to enter uh, and to dispose of them. So he is your first obstacle your first true boss in the instance. Anket is a sentient, for all intents and purposes, a living being, as well as being the tower and the embodiment of the tower. Now, we know that Lord Fionn and his, his uh, entourage all ran into the tower, hoping both for shelter from Eblius and his crew, and also to maybe grab the energy of the tower and put it to, to his own to use. To bind the tower to their will. Okay. Because that is what the ancient fey lords of the Tuatha do. But has Anka tricked them? Oh, we need to find out. Is Anka just toying with you and Eblius and Lord Fionn? Is Anka just taking their various schemes and watching them topple? That is a very interesting question. Are we and going then, to, if we what place do you have in all that? If we conquer this. Will we find out? Uh, no, because you don't kill Anket. She is not the final boss. Very, very interesting. Because this art was too good to just get rid of after one raid. I think I'm going to start a petition right now to make <laughs> those wings available in-game. You know, because we've never, when we looked at them, we never thought the same thing. I, I, they're amazing. Could you... Can we make them diable? Diable wings. Diable Dear fire Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I think Scott White just had a coronary. Yeah. <laughs> trying to Employee number one is now dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he might have something to say about trying to get that done. <laughs> Since it's a beer fax, unfortunately. Ah. Bingzu says snail, snail, snail sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arconics has made it very clear that we can give away, very late in the show, we're going to give away three 30-day patron packs Ooh. and five of the Azure Snails. I don't know if you guys have five seen snails. these in the game or not, but they are oh, those absolutely gorgeous. Those snails are gorgeous. amazing. That's almost six Azure Snails. That's almost. almost. Wow, that's that's pretty good. That's You're over three twos, yeah. and that's terrible. <laughs> 
math. Okay, so Marco, you're a raid guy. Rich, you're a raid guy. I mean, that's those are your official titles. Mm. What do you look for when you're building a raid like this in terms of difficulty? I mean, do you make it so that you have to learn certain tricks to deal with each boss? Or will a certain amount of firepower just take them down regardless? Uh, it's a combination of both, at least for me. The mini boss in the life wing is pretty much just a DPS check. If you get the DPS high enough, you're going to brute force your way through it, you're going to win, you're going to have a fun time. But then you're going to get to Horisius, and Horisius is a lot more trial and error. Mm -hmm. um, there's mechanics that you have to learn as you go on through the fight, and you'll figure it out as you play through the content. And things like that are a little bit more difficult to design because you don't know how long it's going to take players to figure out. You don't know if it reads well or how complicated it is. So it's really just depends on a fight to fight basis on how you want it to be. Well, typically what we've seen of raids in almost any game I've ever played is that a raid is one of two things. Either, oh my god, that was such a face roll. I mean, that you guys weren't even trying. That was so easy. Or, oh my god, that was absolutely impossible. There's nobody in the entire universe that can do this crap. Please change it. I, what do you do? How do you test these out? It's almost as if there's a progression for people. <laughs> That, to do Would that. you please? <laughs> you can't go take a break or something while I ask these guys how, what is the process you use? Well, just hours and hours and hours of raid testing on PTS. Uh, we've had a lot of people coming out and showing up, and we appreciate that. We yeah. wouldn't be able to get these raids out without you guys. And yeah. you guys coming out and helping us balance it lets us get the raids done. Um, but yeah, we want them to be really, 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 really hard and impossible to do for the first. I don't know, day or week or months, depending on how difficult we tune it. And that's the hardest part of our job, is figuring out how difficult do we want this to be? What point does it stop being fun for the players? And with these raids, you have them in the different modes, the, the easy, the medium, and the hard mm. mode. And uh, how, do you, how do you decide how to scale the loot for each of those modes? That would be a question for systems. Oh. Do we have anyone from systems in the building? Krug might be in chat. Uh, Krug, are you in chat? Vlad's in chat. Vlad's in chat. Vlad's always in chat. One day, one day, my goal is beards for female dwarves and Vlad on live stream. I, I don't know which one of those will come true. Vlad with beard oh, Vlad on with live beard. stream. <laughs> well, that's, that would be brilliant. Half of that is easy. All right. So with this one, clearly you can take marshmallows to the party. You to well, no. You don't, you don't want marshmallows at this party. Save your marshmallows. Save your marshmallows. So as you can see, that we'll was a really easy boss, and you were able to take him down <laughs> yes. super fast. Yes. Bosses die when they are killed. Ah. <laughs> it is known. <laughs> it is known. <coughs> I believe this now, guy this is, is me. Now, this is as a Frentus, right? As you. This is me. Oh, snap. If you were a, what, this is you if you were a fire demon? Uh -huh. If. 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 This couch isn't bursted into this flames yet. This is not yet. his oh. final form. Oh, this is... This looks terrible. Yeah. That does look terrible. I, I don't want to be here. Yeah. <laughs> it's heating up. <laughs> that is the live stream room. Right yes, now. right now. It is. It, it is, is really, really hot in here. This is like, this, no, but it's like a, it's like a bagel it. or a pizza conveyor belt Ooh. or something. Right? It, it does. It's just going to cook you. <laughs> yeah. For all your fully cooked ascended needs. You will get fully cooked. Your, your wings should burst into flame at this point. Really? Can't move. Oh yeah! Did, oh, did Va Vlad just respond? Yes, we were asking about how you scale the loot for the easy, medium, and hard mode. If you could type that into chat, in your quiet and I will never be on a live stream manner, that would be terrific. Oh, I'm dying. So I don't actually. What do you mean you're dying? How apprentice. are you dying? That's know. a good question. Good question. Um, this could is a boss from Anani, who is currently not in, and he's probably feeling about the same as Rich's character right now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but. Um, I'm trying to figure out the mechanics as we go. It looks like there's a lot of fire. There's, there's and fire. A lot of heat. There's and a lot not of a lot of place to, to run away not from said no, fire. There's away from. no place to hide you're, at all. You're kind of. I think I saw some waves. Trapped. Yep. Is that a mine that I, blows up? I'm something? not sure. I'm rooted right now. I can't actually move. Oh, that's nice. Huh? I, I, I really look forward to being rooted at you the are, foot of this guy. You are trapped on a. This looks like pizza my oven. idea of a pizza oven. <laughs> oven. This While a giant shouting titan. Or Alavaxian devil cooks you to death. And then waves of fire what if you're more like an omelet and you need your friends to flip you? <gasps> that could be it. 
could be it. Flip the table. Flip the table. Flip the table. I don't have any friends. Wow. Oh, oh that's <laughs> so <laughs> sad. <laughs> if you'd like to be Rich's friend, please send him a message. Yeah. I'll, I'll post caution. his cell phone Friend later. him on LinkedIn. <laughs> I caution you against this. <laughs> He'll just <laughs> I sit next to Rich. <laughs> it's a terror every day. Oh. So, as a Francis, clearly also a very easy mob to take down, uh, <laughs> He is. He has been the keeper of the dragon that these guys have, right? Yes, he is the keeper of magma dragons. So is he a gatekeeper? So, one could say. Hmm. Ferignos, that's him ahead there. Now he's only one of many dragons. But how how do these guys come up with a dragon? I mean, they they're not just sitting around waiting to be tamed, are they? This is one of Melforge's offspring, isn't it? This is one of the Red Flight uh, from the Plane of Fire. He is related to Melforge. Uh, I don't believe he's actually a direct descendant, but he's one of the dragons that are left. And now that right Mailforge is gone, test. he would really like to, they would really like to be in charge again. But the uh, Alavaxians and other Devils of Flame uh, were a bit more cunning this time, and they're not going to let any uh, dragon rule them. So, uh, for, uh, what's his name? As Frentis is uh, has started to capture and tame them. Ah, interesting. He's not really a f he's not really too fond of the devils, but he's not too fond of you either. So he is going to uh, smack you down with his lava claws. Okay, request number two. Dear Chris Jr., I would like a little tiny Ferragnos pet. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I think you just made our art department He's kind of cute. Oh, yeah, he is cute. I, I think our servers quit, too. Yeah, <laughs> our servers just quit. Uh, actually, well, our, our awesome. associate producer, Amber Alexander, sent around earlier oh. today a list of how long, you know, in, in theory, how long it actually takes to create something to put in game. And it's a ridiculously complex process. Oh, look, more dragons, just yes. what you need. I, I did say it was a, the red flight. Forward. Yes. And there are quite a many. Quite a many. There are indeed. And lots of fire. Dear Chris, I would like some of these as mounts in game. It would be really cool if they could fly. fly. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. you know, if it's called the Red Flight, did you make an achievement, Rich, called the uh, Ferragnos Manifesto? You now I have to. You now you have to. <laughs> Making note, Ferragnos Manifesto. We have time. <laughs> sure we do. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm sure you can just push that all the way up to stable. No yeah. problem. Local and hate Cosmetic all. says, uh, did he just poop dragons? Yes. yes. Yes, Cosmetic, that is exactly how dragons reproduce. Now you know. I remember back in Vanilla when you fought one of these red dragons, and that was tough. Yeah, but that was back when we used to have to walk to school both ways yeah, uphill, uphill in the winter time in bare feet. Funny story about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, went, I went to Cornell University for a year, uh. and the way the campus is laid out, you literally walk uphill both ways <laughs> through snow. <laughs> Not even joking, because there's like a little valley in the bottom of it. Oh, it prepared uh. him for the challenging life of being a dev. <laughs> So now when I'm old, I can actually tell that story and not be joking. When Wait, I'm he's back. How did he come back? <laughs> he's special. He's special. Okay. Oh, and now he's down. Now he's dead. Now he's down. Now he's down. The dragon is dead. It has been slain. You know, every, everybody here who's an actual player is looking at that glowing chest that popped open and going, nye, nye, yeah. <laughs> give, give me that. Oh, oh, so close. No spoilers. Yep. Oh, look, a couple of people are saying here, <clears throat> Primalist needs a pet soul. Whoa. I think, I think now all the systems people just quit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a good job at uh, really... Soon it will just be us four. <laughs> the entire building will be emptied of Rift developers. Oh, here she is, yes. All right, Rich, what I want you to do here is use slash kill target. Okay, slash kill target. No, no, I can't do that. <laughs> he just can't bring himself to do it. Yeah, but now you're not going to be able to, uh, to move around. You'll, you'll hit a button. And it will just be like one 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 one. Well, the thing is, Night Stalker Kalen's very boring to look at as one person. Uh, this is really the fight where you find out who your friends are. Oh. Um, she doesn't do much. She's more of a DPS race, like I said. But she will give people mm -hmm. a temporary ability and a dot. That dot will be increasing in damage as the fight goes on. But if you target one of your friends or somebody who's in your guild, 
that you say is a friend, but you really don't like them that much, um, you click that temporary ability. You now pass that dot to them. Huh. Okay. So you have, like, uh, big sponges of damage yeah. in your raid. Yeah. Yeah. But that resets your dot counter, and that climbs back up, and you got to make a balance of that between, like, how much do I dislike my friends versus how much do I want to beat this encounter? One of the things I've seen already is that people are starting to make uh, to guides and walkthroughs for this raid uh, on our forums. And I think that's really helpful as well, especially for people like me who take me forever. Oh, look! Do can not I, lick the fungus. Can I just say how much I love the look of the life side with like the god rays coming down? Beautiful. I want to give yes. a shout out to Mike Chang. Um, he's one of our environment artists and he did fucking killer job on this. It is yeah. fantastic. First F-bomb of the live stream. P no, that was P the second. P2 dropped it. No, yeah. no, no. Oh, oh, so you're repping for oh, the rift team? Counting. Is that it? Okay. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Well, except for one thing. There was one thing that was taken out from his first design that I think we all missed. <laughs> and what's that? What was it? You really can't say on this T for Team Radio yeah. game. I don't remember. I think you did. It was one of the really, statues. No? Oh, yes! Was, oh, yeah! Oh, my goodness. It was on the way here. That was so good. <laughs> when and, and I just want to say that when, when, we were doing, when we were doing Dromheim, for, there was this one district, uh, Bottom Town, and I asked our department every day, please put in all your naughty and irreverent statues and rocks oh, that you, you could. Fool. And, they, and they put in nothing. There was nothing. But then it just started appearing everywhere else. So. It was great. I loved it. I'm sad that it's gone. Linny, I will never forgive you. Yeah. <laughs> Damn you for being responsible! <laughs> oh well, such is life, I guess. I also really love this Shroom Dude guy. Yeah, he, yeah, looks, great. he, he looks great. great. He looks really he looks, cool. When I first read about oh. there being a fungus in game, I was expecting like this big blob of something. like No, we wanted like this, the, the this fungus that takes over the brains of ants and like controls them to make them do stuff. So, fictionally, uh, uh, Hercules is not the the creature; it's the fungus. And soon, everyone, if he gets his way, if he is allowed to escape, and as Anket will point out, it's going to be a mere nuisance for her. But if uh, that if this fungus gets onto Talara, it's game over. And Big Suit does have a point. He is a pretty fun guy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't said that one like fifteen times. <laughs> Now we've we've heard this name pronounced several t several different ways on this live stream, so I'm just going to enter it here. How would you guys pronounce it? I pronounce it Heresius. Heraclius. There's no L in there. No, I know. I'm just making it up. Okay. How would you pronounce it? Heresius. Heresius. Yeah. See. Okay. That's that's that is now the official pronunciation. But you can add an L if you want. Yeah. I'm because not L is no, for I, like. No. Basically, I can't pronounce any of the names that are written, and I have to rely on uh, Jason. Uh, to pronounce these things when we do the final recording. Or Julia, and then we invariably get it wrong. Lick, lick something. No, 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 lick. no, no. That oh, is how we get it. Oh. 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 oh, what, what I, the? I didn't see that Did before. you lick something? Is that what you did? You licked it. Maybe. Aggressively. You can't take these guys anywhere. Don't aggressively lick things. Yeah, but you don't want to... You don't want to aggressively. That's how you. That's how you get the flu. Oh no, you're gone. Oh no, you lost. Oh, you lost the licking. My friend. And he's gone. If you lick it again, you'll see him again. Oh, what? Be, Wait. Yeah. Yeah. See, there he is. Okay. Oh. What is dead may never die. It is known. <laughs> you guys are just terrible. Now, lore for the comet of Anket is continually coming out, and if if you guys have missed what we've written so far the glorious words of Captain Cursor here, uh, do have a look at that. I think this is going to be a very interesting evolving storyline and it, it'll really pay to keep up with it. I do know as well, having seen some of the, uh, the, the discussions that the characters have in game, that it's going to be a very interesting raid to go through. Oh, and, and just so everyone knows, Lord Fionn can only speak the truth. So if he tells you something <laughs> about you or a friend of yours, he is being absolutely 100% honest. Uh -oh. I don't even and know that, my friends, is bad news for you. You don't know if that's true or not? Ooh. Are we going to have a rift in the rift team? <laughs> is that a disco? <laughs> oh of. my god. This is incredible. It looks great. That Scott, looks really good. Scott, that who we made really quit beautiful. earlier today, yes. uh, he did a great job with this. I really, really like it. So at least we got that before we... <laughs> before we drove him out of the... Thanks, Scott. We appreciate it. We love you. That is awesome, actually. That's...
that that is really cool. That is incredible. Yeah. Did you get that as a dimension? Mm, that should be a dimension. Dimension. Read the down. Dimension effect. Dear Chris. Dear Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I've been writing you a lot lately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you sorry. I responded I'm to my <laughs> other notes. <laughs> I'm Not feeling really let down. <laughs> oh, look up. Look I up. know where you sit. Look up. Oh, my God. Oh, I went, go to the edge. I went too far. Go to the edge. Oh, look at that bowl. I love those bowls. Now, if he awesome. goes to the edge, is he going to fall off and go to his doom? And yes. then we have to start all over again? What happens if you do fall off the edge? Can you fall off the edge? Uh, yeah. If you do. I, I don't want yeah, you to we, try. We shouldn't spoil it. We should let players hop in and hop jump in. off on the road. Oh, that's that's the image of Anket yes. that we saw earlier Actually, in the screenshot. I can do this. You can, oh, yeah. Because you're a cheaty arse dev. Cheaty, cheaty, cheaty. Got it. Uh, this is a really glorious this zone. This is so design. good looking. Amazing. I am so impressed. I mean, this this game is five years old, and it just continues to impress me with the quality of the architecture and also the originality of the mobs. Now, of course, I, I work for the company, but I'm saying that as a player. I walk into zones, and I'm just blown away by this stuff. It, it's really great to work on a game that is so impressive. Okay, so is this, this is it. This is him. This is him, Lord Fionn. He is cuddly. Fiona and his buddies. Archers, why did it have to be archers? Oh, the archers are great. They're, one no. of them is the only one that doesn't love Lord Fionn. Oh. oh, what does that mean? Uh, you'll have to go fight them. Too many questions. It's quite bright. It is bright. Fight them with the sound on. Uh, sound is on. sound on. I turn it off. Oh, and if you, I love how if you look down how you through through the the, the glass oh, and everything, yes. you can see like the lava and everything, because uh, Anket is not like she's not just one big tower of stone. She's like this intricate thing with lava and like glowing water and all kinds of stuff just down oh. deep, deep, deep. Oh. I love it. Oh, you, you there got he somebody's is. Attention. Oh, hello. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he's, oh, he's, he's, he's yeah. Back in. He's friendly. He's friendly. A little friendly. I wish uh, I know he was here, so we knew. No, the guy with the spikes behind him is that Sven Bjorn? That is Sven Bjorn. Warlord Sven Bjorn. And he's just going to stand there, right? What is his role in this? Well, I, I think Rich has not been aggro. I'm not, I wonder if do they kick him in the shins? There oh, there we, we go. go. There he is. They got upset. Oh, they, yep. Yeah, they, you to, I think he had to hurt. Ah. Um, and it might be difficult to do that. Oh, and the and Dread no. Witch. Okay. Yes. And, the and then the archers. I, I think I'm in trouble. Mm -hmm. That's safe to say. <laughs> <laughs> you are very much in trouble. Oh, bad things happen. The archers are going to be shooting you constantly. Yeah. You might take one and, to the and knee. Let me... <laughs> Perhaps, perhaps. I used to raid an Onket, <laughs> and then I took an arrow to the knee. Oh! oh nine of them in this case. This is really something else. Do you want to share a little bit about your potential strategy? Were you in here with a not super uber GM client? So I think what uh, has been mentioned before is that none of us know the strategy yes. here. Yeah. Although it is known by one man. Wait, wait, Actually, wait. You guys put together a raid, but you don't know the strategy. You just go, oh my god, I'm going to put all this awesome stuff in here that's going to kill people horribly, and they can figure it out? Is we that just drag scripting links willy-nilly around, and then maybe something will happen. That's the now you know the truth of game design. Raids. Um, what are players going to do? There's so many... You guys love this game. You guys play it. You live it. You breathe it. You know everything that your class can do. And for us, it's hard to design around that always, because you guys have so many options. So... But if, it, if I was in here, and I was coming in here with players, not on a GM client, um, I think my strategy be, would be to surround myself with nine really good players and die really quick and share the mod for the next <laughs> ten minutes. You got this, guys. I believe in you. Yay. Okay, Funksoul was asking, when is this coming out? Currently, it's on public test server, it right? Is. Okay, mm -hmm. is it available for everybody to try there? Yep, it is. And it's releasing Wednesday. Wednesday? Isn't it? Uh -oh. Or Thursday? No, it's Wednesday. <laughs> Do not invite Marco. Dear Chris. I, I'm gonna so <laughs> Dear Chris. I, I'm gonna solo the next live stream. <laughs> None of these devs next time. <laughs> and I'll just make stuff up and you'll be held to it because it'll be official. 
So yes, it's coming very, very <laughs> soon. Like not even soon TM, soon with a date, next week soon. I'd look forward to that then. So Wednesday. That would only be well, called Wednesday, imminent Wednesday. TM. As Ali's buddy yeah. says, that's dead server day. Oh, <gasps> burn. What? I feel like I missed something. Oh, oh, look, they're, they're commenting on your appearance here. How, how does it feel to be objectified there? Feels great. Marco reminds me of Orlando Bloom. Oh, that's neat. That's, that's kind of cool. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you, but you're my favorite now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the final fight? This is the final the fight. Final this is the fight. final fight. Yes. When all your questions will not be answered. All your questions will begin. You never put on your hat. I will, as soon as this is over. Okay. I promised I would. All right. I've almost got enough liquid courage <laughs> to put it on the hat. I just gotta keep you to it. I just, I just can't believe that you... Where did you get that from? Uh, Mike Hansen gave it to me. I, I think there's a conspiracy. There is a conspiracy. But since I already have a beard... You it, know. It's, it's weird to have the beardception hat. <laughs> Beard within the beard. The beard within the beard. Should have a bird with the beard. Tyel asks, Ooh. will all the modes be that, released? That'll be later. Guys, right. guys, pay attention. <laughs> Tyel asks, will all the modes be released at the same time and all the bosses? Yes. Sure. <laughs> this man sounds very sure of himself. This man, a little ambiguous. So tune in Wednesday for the next installment of What the Hell's Going On? It's a surprise. It's a surprise. Even to me. All, all the lore will be le released at once. Yes. And that's what we all really care about. It is. That's what everyone here is really caring about. No, it's the only part that you're solely responsible for. So at yes. least you know when that's coming out. Uh, now, the, the oft-repeated question, but I'm kind of curious as well. Uh, monk class. A melee brawling class. Have, so, are we ever considering that? Oh, yeah. Th it has been considered. Um, but it was... As much or less than female dwarf beard options? Way more. Asking for a friend. Oh, way, God. way more. When I win a lottery, uh. I'm going to buy the dead <laughs> team, and then things will be awesome. But it, it, it's probably not likely uh, that we are going to have a monk class anytime soon, but who knows? We released Plain Touch Wilds, and mm -hmm. we said we never were going to do that. You should ask Vlad about it. Send him messages yeah. on the forums. He would love, <laughs> love it, appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> Make a thread that goes on for days. Okay, I, I, I've got to know, why did you go into the light? They always say, don't go into the light. thought I'd give it a try. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst good How do you know not to do it That's until right. you try? Yeah. I was curious, and then... And then you get blinded by the, the light. light. Got exactly. it. Exactly. That's why I left. No, I knew <laughs> you were going to do that. <laughs> Let's not sing the... Uh... We only have 12 minutes left. Nope. Okay. Finish it up. Finish it up. Um, I would. I'm what you're saying is that you can't, can't kill these guys. Kill these guys. You can't. I don't know. There you go. Even a dev cannot kill you the final boss. Slash kill target. I can't target him. <laughs> you can't target. Can't target. <laughs> told him to turn off the UI. <laughs> I no. can't do it. It's Th all this over. this isn't a bug, is it? No. 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 no he just not. doesn't know the strategy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> This is this is definitely a, something scripted. Yeah, yeah, and unfortunately, I don't. Know. Actually, I probably ah. know more of the strategy than these two guys. And you're not do. telling them. Probably uh, because I, I I wrote the script for this, and there's a lot of intricate stuff going on. Okay, <laughs> while we're waiting for that, with great patience, uh, I'm going to mention as well that just today we put live a new contest. You know those amazing community racing snails that everybody really, 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 really wants? Because they tell us what we want, what they really, really want. <laughs> you can get them by submitting and having accepted a preset build. As you know, we did preset builds in 2012? No, 2014? Anyway, almost two years ago. It's been a long time. There are now 51 souls in the game, and some of the old presets are a little out of date as well. Uh, new players to the game, returning players to the game, these people all look to the presets for some advice. So we'd like you to enter this contest here, and if your build is accepted, then you get not only the community snail of awesomeness, but you also get the title guide writer and a month's free patron. I'd really like to see those, uh, those preset builds come up. They helped me a tremendous amount early on when I was coming back to the game. So again, one more time, enter or die. Or if you're in this raid, enter and die. Especially and then, here. 
especially here. <laughs> seeing, as, seeing as Rich has now met his match oh. in that department. <laughs> he won by killing everything in the universe. And they're just there in ghost form. Wow, yeah. and we it thought they died. were the danger. Yeah, I win. <laughs> so, just to, as an as a side note, why are there bull statues in here? Uh, well, so, one reason is because they're awesome. Yeah. But I think they look very pagan. Okay. But because they're awesome would have sufficed. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I said I'd put this on, so I'm going to. This will feel a whole awesome. lot better. Awesome! <laughs> mm -hmm. let's, get, let's get a big picture of us. Oh. <laughs> there we oh. go! <laughs> oh. Oh. Not only am I officially freaking awesome. Ooh. <laughs> I can still drink my beer. No. Oh. That's the ultimate test of a good oh, We're all talking like dwarves, are we? Yeah, I'm properly doing that. I don't work here. All right, so. <laughs> oh, these guys are so weird. All of them role-playing. See you guys. When I win the lottery and buy the Rift team, everyone's going to have to play a dwarven character. That's They're all, all there is to it. role-play when doing their work. <laughs> It'll be awesome. It Good. will be awesome. Aye, lassie. Real axes for all. Screw the Nerf guns. <laughs> All right, so now... We're Real gonna axes, do, we, fake we, accents. <laughs> exactly. Now, what we're going to do is because uh, we're at the end of the stream and these guys have really had enough of this stuff, we're going to say one more announcement. The Rift Essentials Pack has been extended for a week. You can still get it as an ordinary veteran player until Wednesday, May 18th. So do me a favor, knowing how things happen, Make sure that you buy it on the 17th, just in case it gets shut off early or, you know, uh, Maelstrom works the servers or, you know, that kind of shite that happens all the time. Now we're going to do the prize draws. Before we give, do giveaways, um, for people well, who don't know, what's in the Rift Essential Pack? Oh, uh, I don't know. Well, Maybe can I can you it. pull it up? Evan is going to pull it up for us. Oh, what, what, what? Oh, what? Here? Where? Oh, here. Here, oh, can you pull no, it up for us? Sure. Oops. Yep, no, nope, uh, nope, nope, that's your build. Builds again, submit those builds. Here we go. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Uh, the Rift Essentials Edition gives you the Primalist Calling, uh, plus the 14 souls from the Nightmare Tide, Storm Legion, and Plain Touched Wilds DLCs. And, oh, 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 go back, go back, go back. Oh, yeah. You'll unlock six character slots per server. So if you're an altaholic like I am, believe me, I, I, we just found out you can have up to 13 characters per server. And, and so I'm up to 11 now, and my husband is not listening to this. I have not bought a whole bunch of extra character slots. There you go. And also uh, two earring slots, which you know you're going to need if you're going to be doing high-end raiding one day. And then bag slots. These are slots four and five? Or is it Aye. five and six? If you already have unlocked all your bags, it'll nay do nothing. nothing. If, you, if you nay have a bag space, it'll give you unlimited <laughs> bag space. Or at least two more bags. <coughs> so there you go. When it says limited time... Oh, oh look at that. Oh, look. Look, you have friends oh, now. Have You've been friend. invited yeah, to a friend. guild. Good job, oh, Laddie. Oh, look at that. All right, all and right, then all right. Was one. So we know you're you're really here, you're really here to uh, listen to the prize draws, and the usual law applies. If Rough Raptors wins, we give away five more of everything. His Royal Highness Chris the Junior has authorized three thirty-day patron packs. So if you're all ready, y'all ready? You're definitely ready, right? All right. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on. <laughs> No. Evan, what button do I click? Quick. Pick oh, the, there it is. Burn house. Burn house. That Pick seems appropriate with some of the mobs we've seen today. <laughs> Burn house, you get a 30-day patron pack. If you already have patron, then it uh, you will just, that will add then on you get to your double existing. mega ultra patron. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't listen to that man. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's not a real dwarf. Oh, and, and uh, let's see, another 30-day patron pack, Gaspoline. <coughs> Clearly has been playing Mad Max. Congratulations, Gaspoline. And the third 30-day patron pack goes to Finnabar. 
I got really lucky. I got really easy to read names there. You know, you you're, sure you're, did. You're going to read the next ones. All right, now we're on to the <laughs> Azure snails. See this Azure snail on the screen? This Azure snail, this amazing Azure snail is what you're going to win. And Chris the Junior has graciously given us mucus. five. Five to give away. First one's going to go to... Chech <laughs> Mickey. If that's not a dwarven name, I don't know what is. God, I had to I had to lean out to avoid the spittle. H C C M I K E E. Exactly. exactly what he said. Exactly. All right, next one, Marco, exactly. your turn. Greed us. Greed us. G R I E D. Greed us. Greed us. Greed us. You say it weird. Life. Or greatest? Or, oh, so many ways to do it. Greatest of us? All right, greatest third one. Rich, you're on deck to read okay. this one. Oh, hell. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I swear they do it to you on purpose. Nazgul? Nope. That's Dragon. not Nazgul. Ma I don't see an N. Mechtogul. <laughs> see? He speaks Morgosh. M H okay. T O Z G U L. Yes. Just Congratulations, the the person with the impossible name. <laughs> you win. We do have it written down. You just have to really hope that I've spelled it correctly when I've written it on my sheet here. <laughs> All right. We got two more. That's an easy one. Raul Lewin. Raul Lewin, you're the proud owner of a beautiful blue snail. I'm really confused as to how it jumps. I, it's I don't mucus. Know. The mucus, it, it, it just, it, it screeches mucus and it shows it way up in the sky. Propels it from its body. I, Excellent. I, I, I don't want to know the like scientific explanation yeah. for yeah. that. Kind of. All right. It's a sneeze and jump. lastly, sneeze Marco, jump. here you go. Oh. Crizzle 8. Crizzle 8. That's right, Rich. That's right, Rich. Because you're my friends. <laughs> now, if I could be guaranteed of getting another completely unpronounceable name, I would make him read another one. But that's it for the giveaways today. And again, we want to make sure that you enter the Build a Better preset contest. Extremely important that you help out your fellow players get the awesomest snail, even cooler than the Azure snail, uh, the title guide writer, 30 days of patron pack, and all the fame you could possibly get. All right. Anything else to say before we're gone? I, I miss you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it was great working with y'all. <laughs> yes. We're going to find the doors locked and they're going to keep yeah. turning up the heat here until we die. If anyone has some place we can stay, please. <laughs> we'll be sleeping on the floor under our desks until they call the police in to get us hired. All right. Thank you all. We'll see you next week when we're talking about, with any luck, minions. Minions. Next Minions. Week. Minions. Right. Thanks, guys.